he's a, a comics piece, comic, legend, but why yeah. didn't none of these fucking guys cuff you and put you in that spotlight, Pat? Like, put you in their movies and put... I went by made movies. Don't, don't, don't say no, I know you. I know you made movies, Pat. I know you made some movies, Pat. on your side, Pat. Yeah, but I'm saying... Like you were, you're the guy of those guys. Right. They love you, but right. but no, no, they. That's a good question. They didn't cuff you and go. Put I will Pat answer in you. These fucking I will movies. answer you. All right. I'm overbearing. They don't want me in the fucking area. You understand me? They decide. I don't know what this guy's gonna say. He's too fucking much. They want people to be under low key. Played a part, like I did the De Niro movies, I did two of them, and I told my wife, God love her, I said, after this movie, I will never be called again. And she <laughs> says, why? I said, because in between, you know, reading my lines and everything, I had the fucking cast pee in their pants. I was telling them because it was boring sitting in your fucking dressing room. I had De Niro pee in his pants. And let me tell you something about Robert De Niro, okay? I go to the Friars about five months ago. He's now a Friar. So I go in, you know, and say, hey, Pat, how are you? And, and, and one of the leaders comes up, Pat, uh, uh, you know, Robert De Niro is here with Joy Behar at the table. I said, and Jeffrey Ross, I said, fine. He said, whatever you do, man, oh, don't, uh, don't make any, and uh, don't, uh, I said, who the fuck you think you're talking to? <laughs> he says, please. So, all right, now, we're doing Mickey Freeman's uh, uh, memorial. Oh, no, we're doing his, his roast, all right? And everybody said, please don't take pictures of Bobby right there, Bobby De Niro. And he's sitting in the corner, and I waved him on you, Bob. I didn't go over to him with the fucking bullshit cocksuckers here. <laughs> All right, now I'm closing the roast. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Pat Cooper, I said, before I open my fucking mouth, get your cameras out and take a fucking picture of that guy there. <laughs> oh, right fucking oh, now. Shit. Stand up, Bobby. Who the fuck you think you are? You can't get photographed. Lincoln got photographed. <laughs> George Washington got photographed. Who the fuck are you? George Washington. <laughs> he went fucking blind with the fucking lighting, and he waved at me. Now. I finish. I walk past him. He goes, how do you do that? It's called talent. <laughs> <laughs> and I never knew I'd make another picture because I didn't take over the fucking movie. I was me. Yeah. I got guys in that fucking movie who wanted to say one word so they could join the union. I said, say anything you want. He goes, well, I'm at the bar. Say to, say to Bobby De, De Niro, you know, better call him Bobby. Say, Vito, you want to drink? He said, well, it's not say the fucking thing you want to drink. <laughs> so he comes over. He goes, uh, Mr. Vito, you want to drink? And Bobby froze to say... He doesn't have a line. I said, get the fuck's the difference. He wanted to drink. Tell him, yeah. And it was funny. But I heard the rumbling. <laughs> bum, 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 of course. Bum. That was the fucking end of me on uh, the two it. shows. But that's okay. They're stupid. Yeah, they, they don't want people, you know, uh, directing the movie. No, I didn't direct the movie. <laughs> I am me. And if yeah, I can't be me, what about scumbags are out there now getting a million and a half a fucking week? I never did that. I'm a fucking mensch. I'm a fucking friend. I'm a good guy. Fuck him. How's that tell you? Fuck him again. You know, people think who the fuck they are because I cannot do what I do. I got family. Tell me go fuck themselves. I mean, what's the difference? Because they're full of shit and they're not nice. That's what you do. That's what makes a fucking man. You call it the way it is. I mean, give me a fucking break. Are you ever soft spoken? Yes, I am when I'm fucking sleeping. And if you wake me up in the middle, I'll I'll, I'll complete the sentence. <laughs> Who else is on the back of the book, Patrice? Uh, he Why the fuck you think you got me on? Because I'm completely different than any one of your fucking guests. Exactly. And you know what? It's good for your show. It's good for me. We're helping each other. This is the last time. And you're letting you talk about you know obviously Jerry Lewis uh, uh, over your house. Things like that, and nice. But I remember as a, a kid watching you on uh, Ed Sullivan. I watched you, you had on, to say on, that, on, on Sullivan. You were well, never a kid. I yeah. Well, back in the you know the thirties. You were an eight pound in. afterbite. <laughs> <laughs> After wow. birth. After birth. <laughs> Who else is on the back of that book? Uh, two more. Uh, two uh, more, Pat. Jason Alexander and uh, 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 way the fuck up. Billy Crystal. Who, who's the one? Great, Billy Crystal. Great. I've never met a funnier man. Sure, I have. It's me. Well, everybody's funny on him. Yeah. yeah. Well, he's Where's wonderful. Billy Crystal. Very. Now, very was strong. Mr. Saturday Night uh, after you? Was that a movie that was made? No, I never was did that about Mr. you. Saturday night. No, was that character about you? About, no, that was about like the George Burns, the kind of guys who used to work these uh, these condos years ago. We used to work bungalow. Con he did such a great movie. I thought he should have won an Academy Award. He really played that I character. I love Saturday, Mr. Saturday Night. Yeah, yeah. he was one of them. Yeah, yeah, like a while ago. No. He's a giant. You ever seen Mr. Saturday? Long time ago. I'll check it out. You never seen that movie? No. Great fucking film. I'll, I'll He's check a it out giant. This 
He's a giant. He's a wonderful, talented man. I'm mm-hmm. telling you. So these kind of guys, I mean, they're wonderful. But, uh, you know, that, that's, it's fucking over. Where are you going? Mm-hmm. I mean, he did Broadway with 700 Sundays. I tried it with, you know, 200 pe- Peculiar Tuesdays, and they wouldn't give it to me. <laughs> but that's good. He went on Broadway. It was wonderful. He's good. He, I don't know what more you can do after that. He's done great movies. He's done the, he, he was great on the fucking Academy Awards. You know, I wish they'd bring back, you know, what's his name? Uh, the guy from Long Island, uh, the guy that's with, uh, what's the name? Uh, the Sorry, brothers. Me. The brothers. Oh, uh, Baldwin? Uh, the brothers. Alec Baldwin? Yeah, I wish he comes back again. Uh, give me a chance to take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> he hosted the fucking... No, no, balls on Alec Baldwin. He's a great talent. What the fuck? He don't belong hosting cock. He don't belong hosting cock. <laughs> I need mean, a rest. Thank God for Alec Baldwin. <laughs> oh, Alec Baldwin. Who saw that coming? He's making 900 oh, yeah. million fucking dollars, and he's fucking... He's getting better. He's fucking better. All right? Uh, Jesus. Any shows? You got any, any shows coming up? Yet? Yes. Yeah, this thing. I yeah, got a couple got? of things. The I'm Queen's going. Theater, right? Yeah. Uh, March nineteenth at eight p.m. Sunday, March twentieth at three p.m. at the yeah. Queen's Theater. I'm, I'm going to work the Queen's Comp- Theater dot org. Comp- Basie, the Queen's Comp- Theater. Comp- Basie, Comp- Basie theater. I think yeah. the fourteenth. Yeah. Nice. Of March. And that's another guy I met, and I met Nat King Cole, Elephant John. I worked with all of them. I worked with all of them, and you know, and I'm saying. I mean, there are decent people in this fucking world. I mean, Ella Fitzgerald comes over to me. She says, it's a pleasure to have you on this show. She says, on my show. I work with Ginger Rogers, the one who danced with Fred Astaire for years, who won an Academy Award. In walks Cary Grant that fucking night. Cary Grant. And and she says, she says, Gary, did you like Pat? I love you. I love I love them. She goes. So I said, do me a favor. Stop the fucking impression. Be who you are. He <laughs> left. <laughs> and she says, "Is it a bit?" That's just, a funny line, though. Carrie Grant doing but, the impression. But that's what I do. Pound what the pound. fuck you want? <laughs> He's still in the fuck. It's like an elephant in here. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> pound for pound, Pat, <laughs> the nicest uh, celebrity you've ever met. Just like Sergio Franchi. Who's that? Really? There you go. Go back where you came from. Sergio <laughs> Who's saying Sergio Franchi? Franchi? I've been saying that for years. Wow. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Sergio Franchi. Didn't he say one of those Spanish sales, uh, slave ships, Sergio you Franchi? Know, you know what it is? You know what it is? Uh, they only have one color book. Uh, that's all they have. That's Who, all they people? see is one color book. With no other. Sergio Frank, one of the finest entertainers I ever worked with. He was a headliner. He sang. He danced. He did everything. It was like I became a brother to me. I loved him so Can much. Can you say somebody Classic. we heard of, Pat? <laughs> yes. You bring up some goddamn Sergio well, fucking Frankie. Well, uh, uh, what is he designed? There he is shoes? right there. Look at him. He's on the internet. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Let me tell you how. This uh, guy, that's, that's the guy from Anthony and Maria's wedding. Wait a fucking no, Your ass is wedding. Your ass is wedding. <laughs> <laughs> now, let me tell you a quick story. You ready? <laughs> I said to Sergio Frankie, let's go on the A train and work and work. What's a big club up in Harlem? The, uh, the, uh, the, the Club. Apollo. Apollo. Club. The Apollo. The Apollo. He says, what are you talking about? The birth. How can we work it out? We are white people. I said, you got to sing an A train on the fucking A train. We'll advertise that two white people are going to work the fucking Apollo. I, because I don't know if they're going to understand them. I'd be like, well, what do you think? These people are stupid. They love your fucking bitch. <laughs> and they, his manager stopped it. Really? I see on the A-train. Sergio, mm. hello, let's take taking the A-train. <laughs> hello, you know. And, what's, and they stopped it because his fucking manager had no balls. This one had put him in another elevator, baby. And he said, oh, I don't understand. I shouldn't want me to. Fuck her. What does she understand about fucking entertaining? You entertain everybody. Deaf people. People who can't fucking hear. People who can't breathe. You entertain everybody. Don't go in a fucking category because you're making me fucking the Canadian. See, he says, well, they hear me when the train goes. Who gives a shit? It's publicity. Nobody has to fucking. <laughs> hear you. That was the end of me with him. And uh, that was it, huh? That was it. That's why yeah, he's the yeah. nicest guy. You ever met this guy? Looks like the father from the Brady Bunch. <laughs> Anybody can drop fat. a big name, Ray Opie. Yeah. Anybody can drop a it name. Was like it was like Bert Convy. Uh, he was on a fucking name. nicest it was like man. Bert Convy. Yeah. Anybody no, can drop I'm saying, a name. Somebody, just, somebody would know where you go. Like, I met The Rock. He, he's a nice guy. Like, you go, oh, shit, that's a nice guy. I'm just saying, a, a big star. We go, that's a, that was a really, truly nice fucking guy. That guy. I think there are a lot of them. You know, these people here who came from humble beings, 
Ninety percent of them are wonderful people. Then right. you get the assholes who really can't handle success and shouldn't be successful, <clears throat> and they torture everybody around them. These are fucking assholes. You know, they got lucky, and now when they got old, they, they, they fucking Botox. Botox ain't going to help because they're no fucking heart. you got to have a fucking heart, but they want something better. Now they man, now the older woman have a new thing. We're now, you know, we're, we're cougars. They want to reinvent their pussy. It's still a fucking <laughs> pussy. It'll die a pussy. It comes out of there peeing, and that's what it does. That's all it's going to do, peeing and fucking, fucking, and peeing, peeing, and fucking, fucking, and peeing. That's what your pussy is, so cut the shit. You don't like the cougar thing? Uh, I don't think yeah. I think it's a bullshit. They're trying to reinvent their pussy. That's all it's fucking about. I mean, what, the Kardashians? What, what, what are they, actresses? Give me a fucking nah. break. She makes a fucking porno, so she's a star. That's a fucking bullshit. Use That's the bullshit. Pussy. Use the pussy to get into a uh, showbiz. I wouldn't touch her with your cock. She's not in my fucking league. <laughs> you understand? When I get him in bed, it's a fucking epic. <laughs> Remember that. Are you, packing, are you packing wood, Pat? I'm sorry? You packing major wood? That 50-year-old Italian lady you said he was doing all right. No, 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 no. I have a weenie. <laughs> <laughs> and I tell you right now, when I, I never fuck with the lights on. Never. <laughs> never. This finger here saved me many times. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to oh get funnier God, than that, man. All right, I'll tell you the truth. All right. Oh, do you pack it? Everybody want to know you pack it. What am I fuck? What, I work for a grocery store? Huh? The lights are out. I was married 44 years. She goes, geez, you're wonderful. I never let her word know. It's in her business. As long as I can pee, that's important. Peeing is important. Years ago, when you fucked, after you finished fucking, you went, ah, ah. Now, today, if you pee at 82, you go, ah, ah. I get up just to pee. <laughs> it's better than fucking. I don't have to worry about putting a schnapp around, you know. I, yeah. hey, I went to get, I went to the fuckers, uh, Dwayne Reedus, I want some rubbers. You know, for my feet. He gives me two fucking condoms. <laughs> I says, I can't put that on. Rubbers. I can't find it. Where am rubbers. I going to put it on? <laughs> rubbers. I don't know. I love that rubbers. I want to update that one. That's <laughs> uh, great. My galoshes. <laughs> yeah, right. like, that's what they called them, galoshes. And you don't have high blood pressure. No, I never did. I How go, the fuck I, is that possible? I go for a, I go for a check about, I'd say about every six months, five months. I, I go because my doctor is a sweetheart of a guy. He goes, well, I'm going to see you. You know, and I go down and make them laugh. We talk and everything. And uh, and you go and I, listen. I, I, every day is a gift. I mean, people say uh, you're working. It's, I don't have to work no more. Because his thing is yeah. not stress. Like it's not what he's doing. No, ain't no. stress. Mm -hmm. He's, well, stress he's one of the most stress-free guys ever. Yeah, yeah. He's stress-free. Right. <laughs> Pat don't have stress. Because he's not hiding anything. He's not packing I, anything down. I was raised everything this way. Everything comes out of this guy. Right. I was raised this way. You know, my mother go, pass the macaroni. <laughs> I go, where the fuck is it? You know, that's the way we were Just real. My family house. yelled that's at each other. Like yelled. growing up in a mad house. My father, <laughs> my father never time. yelled. No. No. My father never yelled. My father beat you by quiet. Yeah. <laughs> you understand? And when she yelled at him, he got the license out of the drawer. He says, where does it say in the license that I got to take your shit? <laughs> <laughs> kept it in the drawer. That's funny. <laughs> that's that's right. why we laughed. Sir. That's great. That's All fucking right. funny, and that's in the Pat book. That's the fucking fact. greatest. Buy the man. fucking yeah. book; it'll educate you. Buy the fucking. What's book. the name of the book? How, How dare you yeah. say? How dare, dare me. me? Thank you.